I welcome you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ to the one of our special program on overcoming on and I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we journey through this 21 days the deliverance program may we all experience the raw demonstration of the power of God Almighty and may every unclean spirit may they all be disgraced out of their hiding places in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ may the name of Jesus Christ be a strong tower for every lives and every souls in this program in the name of Jesus may the plans of the wicked to shame you backfire in the name of Jesus may the rage of the wicked to pull you down may it backfire sevenfold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we start the service tonight by singing my hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness as we sing this hymn may god almighty build us our hopes in christ beloved it is only in christ that you can have a sure hope of answered prayers and of victory over all raging enemies as we sing this hymn may jesus christ come down in the fullness of his grace mercy power and love and deliver us from the plans of the wicked ones in the name of our lord jesus christ Praise see the Lord. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest spray, but holy on Jesus' name. On Christ our soul, live all Christ our all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ a solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When darkness seems to veil its face, I rest on its unchanging grace. In every eye and stormy gale, my anchor was within the veil. On Christ I saw, the rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ I saw, the rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground. Is sinking sand, his oath is covenant and blood. Support me in that way, me flow when all around my soul gives way. Hidden in all my open state, on Christ I saw the rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ a solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When it shall come with trumpet sound, who oh, may I then in him be found? Christ in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ I saw, the rock I stand, on other ground is sinking sand. On Christ I saw, the rock I stand, on other ground is sinking sand. On other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Mighty, glorious, powerful, and everlasting Father, the creator of heaven and the earth, the man of war, the righteous and holy God, the one who was, who is, and who is to come, Abba Father, the Lord God Almighty that has the power to do all things, the Lord God Almighty, whose name is called Jehovah, the one that seated and reigned in Shekinah glory. 
Abba, Father, we bow before your throne tonight and we worship you. Lord, take all the glory tonight and forevermore in the name of Jesus. We are grateful for the salvation of our souls. We are grateful for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us and for the remission of our sins. We are grateful for the grace, for the love and mercy in the blood of Jesus. We are grateful, O God, for loving us and sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for us. We are grateful, O God, for delivering us from gross darkness. We are grateful, O God, for breaking jokes in our lives. We are grateful, O Lord, for keeping us standing in faith and holiness, in righteousness and on the path of righteousness. Father, take all the glory in Jesus' name. Merciful God, we surrender all. We know we have sinned against the accomplishment of your glory. Daddy, we bow before the throne of mercy tonight. We confess all our sins. We pray for forgiveness. We pray for mercy. And we pray for cleansing. Father, forgive us, O Lord. Wash away all our sins. Cleanse us from the iniquities of the heart. And create in us the spirit of sin no more. Lay your mighty hand upon us. And let every bondage of sins, O God, let them be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice. Beloved, we are in this special program, 21 days program. And the Lord has given to us from the activities of unclean spirits. 21 days program for you and I to be set free from the bondage of unclean spirits. 21 days program for you and I to be set free from the raging enemies called the unclean spirit. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity, my the Lord will not hear me. In this program, I want you to pray to God, whatever will not allow me to receive my deliverance, whatever will not allow my prayers to be answered, say, Jesus Christ, punch me and have mercy. Whatever will not allow our prayer to be answered, whatever will not allow us to receive our complete and total deliverance, Jesus Christ, Son of living God, have mercy upon us and purge us. Have mercy upon this church and purge this church. Have mercy upon all the members and purge us. Have mercy upon all the viewers and purge us. Have mercy, Lord, and purge us. Have mercy and purge us. Have mercy and purge us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want you to open your Bible to Psalm 25. I will read verses 1 and 2. Psalm 25, verses 1 and 2. I want you to pray against those on assignment to shame you. I want you to pray against those that are rising up to use their demonic influence to torture and to torment you. As Lord God of heaven lives before my stand, the judgment that came upon Korah, Desan, and Abiron, the, the Lord will bring such judgment upon every raging and opposing enemies in our lives in the name of Jesus. No matter how great they may be, no matter how powerful they may be, if God could swallow them up, if God could command the ground to swallow them up, if God could end their rage, I decree that God in heaven will end the rage of all the enemies that are rising up against us in the name of Jesus. As those enemies, as those oppositions, as they went down to the head alive with all their families, so shall all those that are after our souls, so shall they all go down alive tonight. They shall go down. They shall go down within the next 21 hours. 21 hours in the name that is above every other name. Anyone rising up against us, any power boasting against us, any power that has vowed to destroy us, any power holding demonic meetings because of us, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, they shall go down, they shall be disgraced, they shall be naked, and they shall die in the name of Jesus. Psalm 25, that was says, In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O Lord, my God, I trust in thee. Heavenly Father, we trust in thee. Jesus Christ, we trust in thee. Let us not be ashamed. Let not our enemies triumph over us. Beloved, evil associations, ungodly friends, evil authorities, evil authors, the money priest, witches and wizards, they can rise up against a lie to shame a life and to triumph. But as the Lord God of heaven lives before my stand, I decree by the decree of heaven, by the word of God, that do not let us be put to shame, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord God, my Father, I am in your presence. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, God knows all your enemies. Just pray. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, I am in your presence. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, our Father, we are in your presence, oh God. Let us not be ashamed. Let not our enemies triumph over us. In the name of Jesus, let not our enemies triumph over us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In this program, the enemies must not triumph. In this program, wickedness must not triumph. In this program, demonic tongues must not triumph. In this program, evil authors must not triumph us. In this program, demonic hands must not triumph. Evil legs must not triumph. Evil network must not triumph. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, our Father, let us not be ashamed. Let not our enemies triumph over us. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord God of heaven lives, before we stand, enemies will not triumph over us. Infirmities will not triumph over us. Evil arrows will not triumph over us. Satanic associations, evil network, satanic ganging up will not triumph over us in the name of Jesus. Evil authorities will not triumph over us. Sicknesses will not triumph over us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Mighty, glorious, beautiful, excellent Father, we we'll thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence. Take all the glory now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Father, my life, I lay at your feet, O God. Forgive me, purge me, remove me, and make me Lord. A vessel unto honor, filled with Holy Ghost and with fire. And use me, Lord God, during this program, O Lord, as your vessel, as your organ, as your mouthpiece, to speak your word and let your word go forth and bring forth miracles, signs, and wonders, and salvation in the name of Jesus. As many as those that will be joining this program, and as many as those that will be listening to these messages that will be preaching on this platform in the future, let all of us, oh God, encounter the raw demonstration of the power of God Almighty in the name of Jesus. Give us wonderful testimonies. Let the lame walk during this program. Let the blind see. Let the dead rise. Let all infirmities, O oh God, be dissolved and be cast out. Let all unclean spirit, O oh God, be disappointed and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We cover this church with the blood of Jesus. We cover every life here with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I welcome you to day one of our 21 days deliverance program from the activities of unclean spirit. And they want to the glory of God, we are looking at dealing with the demon of fear. Dealing with the demon of fear. Fear has destroyed so many lives. Many cannot even take the next step to their glory because they are afraid. Many are even hiding from darkness because of this demon of fear. Many are even afraid to even pursue their careers because of this demon of fear. This demon will be telling people, oh, you cannot do this. If you do it, you will fail. If you do it, people will laugh at you. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost that the demon of fear shall lose his hold over your life tonight in the name of Jesus. I paralyze the activities of the demon of fear. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. We read from verse 43 to 45. The Bible says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walked through dry places, seeking rest, and finded none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come and findeth it empty, swept and garnished, then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. In Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16, we read from verse 15 through to 18. The Bible says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, hear what the Bible says, these signs shall follow them. Signs, plural, shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. Even though the Bible says in Matthew 12, 43 to 45, that we just read, that the unclean spirit 
we go out and we come back to check. But here in Mark chapter 16, the Bible is giving us the assurance that if we believe and we are baptized, we shall cast out what? We shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. May the Lord God Almighty give us all this power. Give us the strength. Give us the authority to carry out all these promises in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, because we believe we shall cast out devils. Because we believe we shall speak with new tongues. Because we believe we shall take up serpents. Because we believe which if we drink poison, it shall not alter us. Because we believe we shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. So shall it be for every believer said tonight in the name of Jesus. There are steps, beloved, to follow to kill a serpent. There are steps to follow to cast out demons. Wrong stepping on serpents or wrong approach to cast out devils can be disastrous. It can lead to shame. And sometimes it can lead to death. So we we must learn how to cast out the devils. We must learn how to cast out evil spirits. Evil spirits, they have power. We studied about the madman of Gazaria yesterday. The man, no one could bind the man. That It tells you how strong evil spirit could be. But we need the power of God Almighty to overcome the evil spirit. And before we can do that, there are steps to follow. Cast out unclean spirit. The first thing you must do is you must accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Without Christ, you cannot. No man can cast out the devils without Christ. Christ is the light that the devil will bow to. Anytime we see Jesus Christ appearing, the kingdom of darkness they always bow. Number two, we must repent of known and unknown sins and be washed in the blood. You cannot cast out devils when you are living in perpetual sins. You cannot cast out devils when you have not repented of your sin. The third thing we have to do, we must be baptized in water and the Holy Ghost. You cannot command the evil spirit to come out if you are not a carrier of power of God, which is the Holy Spirit. Next, we must know the Word of God. The Word of God is a power that the evil spirits will hear and they will obey. That means they shall hear the voice. The stranger shall hear the voice and they shall obey. Which voice are they going to hear? They shall hear the voice of God, not the voice of a sinner. And next, we must learn to pray, binding and casting out prayers using the word of God. For it is written, when you want to cast out devil, you, there must be word of God that you have to be standing upon. You don't just pray any hour to cast out the devils. There must be the word of God that you are standing upon. And for you to stand upon the word of God, you must be in Christ, and Christ must be in you. And the binding and casting out prayers that we have to pray, number one, is to neutralize and paralyze the unclean spirit using the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. See, I bind and cast out. I bind and paralyze the activities of unclean spirits. Remember, what the Bible says in Luke 10 19, I give unto you power to trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over all the power of the enemies, and not it shall insult you. You stand upon the wall. I stand upon the word of God that says, Luke 10 19, I give unto you power. Father, by your power, I paralyze. By your power, I neutralize the activities of unclean spirit within our hand me. By the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The word of God is what the devil will hear and they will obey. Number two. We must then bind the unclean spirit, bind their leaders and bind their followers. Bind the unclean spirit with chains and with feathers and cast them into the bottomless pit of fire. Yeah. So after accepting Christ, neutralize the activities of the unclean spirit with the blood of Jesus and the Father of the Holy Ghost, bind the unclean spirit. After neutralizing them, then you tie them. You cannot tie them without neutralizing them. You have to, first of all, bind them. Say, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Say, you foul spirit, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you the spirit of fear. I bind you in the name of Jesus. You the demon of fear. You bound it and you bind them. And when they are bound, then you can now tie them. Next, 
place is to set their weapons on fire and their altars. Say, every altars of the demon of fear, I set you on fire. Every altars and the alt every altars, every weapons of the demons of fear, we set you on fire. We set you on fire. After that, you break into the storehouse and recover all that belongs to you. You must recover what the demons have stolen from you. And lastly, set the habitation of the demons on fire and destroy it completely. And you do yourself a favor. After setting the habitation on fire, then you barricade your own life with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Say, I barricade my life with Holy Ghost fire. Fear, beloved, dealing with the demon of fear. How do we address it? Fear is to be afraid. There is always a demon behind every fear of man. Fear is to be scared. This demon has destroyed so many and has prevented so many from moving forward. This demon will be speaking the words that you cannot do it. Whenever a word is coming to your head that you cannot do it, note for sure that the demon of unclean spirit of fear is at work. This demon will be telling the life you will lose if you, if you embark on this. This demon tells life that they will fail. It is demon behind the world of disgrace, telling the life that that life will be disgrace. It is the demon of you are not able for this. It is demon telling the life that you'll be laughed at for doing this. It is the demon that makes a life to stop without doing anything. Then how can we overcome this demon of fear? Number one, we need to pray. We have talked about repentance, but now is the time to pray. Maybe you are here, you are always afraid. You are afraid of darkness. You are afraid of fear. You are even afraid of fear. You are afraid of family. You are afraid of witches and wizards. You are afraid of attack. You are afraid of accident. You are afraid of everything. You are afraid of failure. The demon of fear is at work. That's the demon that will make the ego of a lion to be feeding with the chicken. Telling the ego, if you fly, you fall. Telling the chicken, telling the ego, oh, you belong to the ground. You cannot fly. I pray. Demon of fear will come out of our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, I accept Jesus Christ. We have a few prayers to pray to cast out this demon of fear. Say, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior in the name of Jesus. I accept Jesus Christ. We accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. We accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. Jesus Christ, I accept you. I bring you into my home, into the lives of my children. As our Lord and personal Savior, in Jesus' name, we are praying. I repent of all my sins and ask for forgiveness and mercy in the name of Jesus. We repent of all our sins and we ask for forgiveness and mercy in the name of Jesus. We repent of our sins and we ask for forgiveness and mercy in Jesus' name. We are praying. Baptize me, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, plug me, O Lord, to the socket of power and fire. Plug us, O Lord, to the socket of power and fire. Plug us, plug our children, plug our wives, plug our marriages, plug this door to the socket of power and fire. Plug us, O Lord, to the socket of power and fire. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, by the power of God Almighty, it is written, I give unto you power to trample upon serpent upon scorpions and over all the power of the enemies and nothing shall by shall by enemies utter. see upon the word of god i stand and i paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within and around me by the power and the authority in the blood of jesus upon the word of god we stand tonight mm -hmm. we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within and around us in the name of jesus we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within and around us in the name of jesus we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within and around us in the name of Jesus, we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within our us. In the name of Jesus, we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within our us. In the name of Jesus, we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within our us. In the name of Jesus, we paralyze the activities of unclean spirit within our us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. See, I bind and chain. I bind with chains and feathers and cast into bottomless pit of fire. The unclean spirit causing mental unrest in our lives in the name of Jesus. We bind with chains and feathers. We bind with chains and feathers and cast into bottomless pit of fire. The unclean spirit causing mental unrest in our lives in the name of Jesus. We bind them with chains and feathers. We bind them. We bind them. We bind them. We bind. Be bound. Every unclean 
spirit, causing mental unrest, causing torture, causing torment, troubling our souls. We bind their witches and feathers and we cast them to the bottom of the spirit of fire. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, I pull down and destroy by fire the strong ghosts and weapons of unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. We pull down and destroy by the Holy Ghost fire the strongholds and weapons of unclean spirit within our doors in the name of Jesus. We pull down, we pull down, we pull down and destroy the weapons of the unclean spirit within our doors. We pull them down, we pull them down, we pull them down, we pull down and destroy the weapons of unclean spirit within our doors in Jesus' name. We have praise it. I break into the stores of the unclean spirit and recover all my lost virtues. And recover all my stolen virtues and blessings in the name of Jesus. We break into the storehouses of the unclean spirit and we recover all our lost and stolen virtues, our blessings, our joy, our testimonies, our beauty, every good thing stolen from our lives by the unclean spirit. We recover them back. We recover them back. We recover them back. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Pray this with boiling hunger. Say, I set ablaze the habitation of unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. I set ablaze. The habitation of unclean spirit. I set ablaze. We set ablaze the habitation of unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. We set ablaze the habitation of unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. We set ablaze the habitation of unclean spirit in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, I barricade my life and family with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I barricade my life and my family with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I barricade my life and my family. With the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We barricade our lives and our families with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, thank you, Lord, for delivering me from the power and the grip of unclean spirit and fear. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us from the grip of unclean spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free from the bondage of the unclean spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free from the prison yard of the unclean spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord, for releasing us from the chains of the unclean spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Beloved, I want to encourage you. Keep praying these prayers. Share this good news. And tell the old world that fear is a destroyer that must not be allowed to thrive in anyone's life. Fear is a waster. Fear is a killer that must not be given chance to rule. As you share this good news, may God Almighty pull down all the situations that are terrifying you all the situations causing you fear may god destroy them in the name of the i decree by the decree of heaven whosoever is rising up to cause you fear whosoever is terrorizing you whosoever is harassing you whosoever is oppressing you whosoever is suppressing you whosoever is torturing and tormenting you as Goliath died before David, so shall they all die before you in the name of Jesus. Before tomorrow, all the enemies that are causing you fear, you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. You shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. As the Lord God of heaven lives, all those that have vowed, that tomorrow they are going to attack you. Before tomorrow, the ground will swallow them up. The ground will swallow them up. We shall see them no more. We shall see them no more. All those that have vowed, that by this time tomorrow, they will shame you. In the name of Jesus, they shall not see tomorrow. They shall not see tomorrow. All those that vow that tomorrow they will kill you. In the name of Jesus, tonight, the spirit of death will visit them. The spirit of death will visit them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' most excellent and beautiful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing to you, share the good news. Tell the world that Jesus Christ is the great lie that darkness cannot comprehend. Jesus Christ is the solution to fear. As you share this good news, may God Almighty use you to set those that are in bondage of fear to set them free in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow is day two of our 21 days deliverance program from the activities of unclean spirit. Let's come together tomorrow to share the scripture and to pray those unclean spirits out of our lives. And as we do so, may God himself grant us super deliverance. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We meet every day, 5 p.m. Irish Times Live 5 on Facebook and YouTube. Tomorrow is our midweek video. We are meeting tomorrow from 11 45 p.m. to 12 15 a.m. Once again, this is the part of Righteousness Church of God. This is the Church of Christ, the church that the gate of hell shall not and cannot prevail over. It is the Church of Truth, Church of Holiness, Church of Deliverance, Church of Healing. This is the Church of Miracles, Signs and Wonders, and above all, this is the Church of Salvation. Join us every day as we share the scripture. Join us every day as we sit at the feet of Jesus. And join us every day as we learn about Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior. God bless you and keep shining the Lord. Remember, Jesus is Lord. 
and he is the way, he is the truth and his life. No one can go to the Father except through Jesus. Find Jesus and start enjoying the peace and the joy of the Lord. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven victorious hallelujah over the unclean spirit of fear. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and keep shining in the Lord. Bye.